This is a pair of binoculars that are out of collimation and I'm going to recollimate them using a technique from this very useful little book. The great thing about this technique is rather than hunt for the screws that alter the prism settings within the binocular, it relies on the fact that the majority of binoculars, the objective lens, is mounted eccentrically. So by rotating the objective lens, you alter its principal axis and hence you can alter the collimation of the unit. So let's give it a go. The only robust tripod I've got to mount the binoculars to is for my telescope. So I made this little adapter plate so I could attach it to the face of the equatorial wedge. And here it is in place mounted on the tripod. Now I'll just attach the binoculars to it. And there they are fixed onto the tripod. And now I'm going to look up outside at a television aerial about a hundred meters away. Right, I've unscrewed, removing the dew cap off the end of the binocular. I'm just going to slacken off the objective lens on this side and then look through the binocular at this little distant object. And if I unscrew it fractionally, I can see that the image is getting better and better. And yeah, that's it. That's that's much better, that's, that's perfect now. I've adhered a small pointer onto the lens, uh, it's of masking tape, and I've put around the objective lens this blank piece of white card onto which I'm going to mark the two reference points that I'm going to need. So the first one. That's my first mark. I'm going to turn the objective lens to the correct position. And that's a much better view. I'm going to mark the second position on the piece of card. And that's it. Now I have the position marked where I want the objective lens to be when it's tightened up. I'm going to slacken off this cell and move this mark here to that position. I.e. I'm going to move the objective lens round to that position. Right, so let's give it a go. This is the little homemade spanner I made to fit into the two slots of the cell. That's it. Move this from here to point to that index mark. And I've got a, a lens cloth here, so I'm going to use it to just touch the surface of the lens and slowly rotate it, the objective, round to my correct position. Like that. And now I'll tighten up the locking ring once again. So there's the objective cell back in position. Just a quick visual check. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, for 10 minutes work, it's a vast improvement.